Hello everyone! Today, I'll be here to assist you with calculating the amount of money you'll need to save aside so that you may have a comfortable retirement in the future. Reconsider your position if you feel that you are too young to be contemplating retirement at this point in your life. The World Health Organization reports that the average life expectancy is 72 years. But if you are fortunate enough to be born and raised in a rich country, the odds are quite good that you will live far beyond the age of 80. On average, a person may expect to live to the age of 72. If you start working at the age of 24 and continue until you are 55, you will have only 32 years to accumulate enough money to sustain yourself for at least 17 to 30 years after you stop working. This means that if you start working at the age of 24, you will have to continue working until the age of 55. Hello everyone, welcome to Wealthy Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about retirement. How much do you need? If you are new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. If it feels like a very short length of time, you'd be right to assume that's how long it really is. Because of this, a significant number of individuals who live in nations with high incomes are forced to put off retirement, and some of them continue to do so even after they reach the age of 69. If you believe that retirement will be a negative experience for you, you should begin making preparations for it as soon as feasible. I am certain that you will appreciate the usefulness of this information in the long run. The first thing you should do when preparing for retirement is determine how much money you will need to continue living at the same standard you are used to after you stop working. This number will ultimately determine how much money you will need to save and what kind of investment strategy will work best for you. If you do a fast search on Google, you will discover a myriad of different methods that may be used to get this amount. Nevertheless, the approach that I found to be the most comprehensive is one that is based on the well-known Trinity study. This study, which was published more than 20 years ago, found that during the first year of managing your investment portfolio, you should only sell off up to 4% of the total value of your holdings. After that, the total amount of money that you're able to take out of the account on an annual basis will grow to reflect the effects of inflation. If you have saved up $1,500,000 by the time you retire, you should be able to spend $50,000 in your first year of retirement and a bit more each year. After that, for the next 30 years while still having some money left over in your investment portfolio. This is assuming that you spend $50,000 in your first year of retirement and a bit more each year after that. This is a made-up example based on a hypothetical circumstance. In order to get an estimate of this kind, you will need to be familiar with the whole sum that you anticipate spending throughout your retirement. For instance, if you want to spend $5,000 during retirement, you would first need to multiply that amount by 12, and then you would need to split that result by 4% of the total. If this is the case, having a total of $1,650,000 will provide you with the ability to spend $5,500 each and every month for at least the next 30 years without having to worry about running out of money. Still, if you stop there, inflation will make it hard for you to keep living the same way when you retire. Inflation may also be defined as a pace at which prices continue to rise over time. In the preceding example, you may assume that spending $5,500 per month is appropriate now. However, in 20 or 30 years, when the cost of the goods you value the most has risen, that $5,500 will be much less valuable. In fact, the value of $5,000 in the year 2040 will be almost the same as $3,500 now. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll look at a variety of approaches to figure out how much money you'll need for retirement. We went through their figures and made a few adjustments. We devised our own way of calculating the amount at which you may easily retire. This should be simple to use, while also being correct for the vast majority of individuals, regardless of where you reside, how much money you make, or other criteria. We'll tell you how much money you'll need by the time you're ready to retire, as well as how much money you'll need to save each month to get there. 
I'll have done the arithmetic for you by the end of this video. So let's get this conversation started. You may use this strategy to determine if you have enough money to retire. These estimates are subject to change based on your own financial circumstances, the state of the economy in your neighborhood, and your retirement goals. Assume you have no money and intend to continue working for the next three decades. Check out this website to figure out how much money you'll need to save each year to have the retirement income you want when you're older. For example, if you anticipated spending $4,000 every year until retirement, you would need around $2.9 million. That implies you should start saving $1,500 a month as soon as you finish reading this. If you stick to that plan, save at a rate of 5% per year and make sure that your portfolio earns a return of 6% per year. You will be able to retire in style and never have to work again. If you labor for another 20 years, you'll have to work twice as hard to make your money last twice as long. If you save an extra $750 every month, you'll have an extra $2,000 in retirement income. However, if you just work for another 20 years, you'll need to save an extra $2,000 for retirement. This is because you will have less time to save money and see your possessions grow in value. In this made-up example, saving an extra $1,550 a month leads to a monthly income of more than $2,000 after retirement. The concepts behind retirement planning are valid from a financial perspective. In spite of the fact that there are unquestionably far too many factors and complexities to take into consideration throughout these phases, I believe that they provide a solid basis for retirement planning. According to the results of the calculations, there are four ways to make the most of your retirement. Reduce the expenses of your retirement. Continue to work beyond the traditional retirement age to build up your savings. Maximize the returns on your investments and expand your savings. I am aware that these approaches to retirement planning are common sense. However, it is my sincere hope that by putting a monetary value on these goals, you will be able to define your short, medium, and long-term financial priorities in a way that will allow you to feel confident about your ability to enjoy your golden years. We've reached the end of another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.